Hi Iris. It's a Friday with a Six of Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles isn't bad energy. Though, look, uh, it does have a bit negative side as well. There is money, there is wealth around. It's all about wealth. With Six of Pentacles, it is about wealth, you know, around you. Somebody does have money. There is money here. There is pool of money or person, people or business. And if you put yourself somewhere close, somewhere near, if you do something with that person, these people, that company, you might get something for yourself. This isn't balanced energy, but you might get something out of it. There is money in the air. You might catch something. This is a once off. Okay, this isn't something which you can have monthly, permanently, but this is something once off which you're trying to catch. Some benefit, something for yourself, some help from influential person. You are trying your luck, you know, to put yourself in the favorable position, in the favorable place, to rub the shoulders with influential people, where the money is, where the wealth is, and you might as well get something. In that sense, this Six of Pentacles, good and bad, um, not bad, never bad, really, but uh, yeah, um, it's about the wealth, this or that way, and there is full again on Friday. But this time I might actually like it. Just that what I told you, you see that money is flowing, you saw it, okay? Money is there, wealth is there. You will go to this big company, rich company, and offer your service. You're not going to start from the bottom and then to climb up long road. No, you are going straight away there where the money is, where the wealth is, where rich people are. You see what I'm saying? You are going there. I mean, this optimism, this excitement again fills you up. But this time I really feel it is with the reason. <laughs> you might actually get something here, might get some money. By chance, you know, once off. But money could be even a solid amount of money. You get commission, you know. You recommend this person to another and they pay you some commission. You see what I'm saying? Just like that. Easy peasy. You, you know, you are here and there and there's money for you as well. Because you were just there where the money is, where the whole pool of money is, where the rich people are. Yeah, not bad today, this Friday. Hi, Taurus. Even if you were planning to buy home, maybe that was the thing. Let's buy the house. Now, agreement was made when you're going to do it. Or will it be that huge house, in expensive one? Or it's going to be something smaller for the beginning, maybe flat or so. Anyhow, you've got this agreement here. Now, Friday with nine of wands. Uh, a bit of tough energy. Hold on to it. Complete it. Finish it. Stay where you were. Um, uh, tie up some loose ends. You know, persist with something. Show some endurance. There is a lot which you have done already. Okay, you cannot now give up. You have to. Something which you have to do here on a Friday, um, which isn't pleasure doing, okay? But you have to do it for some reason and there is magician. Okay. For some reasons, for some reason for your future, okay, which you were planning with another business, career, uh, marriage, relationship, buying home, you are planning and you're going towards it, you are stabilizing this idea definitely with this person, whether that you're going to open your own business or you're going to get married or you, you're going to buy a house, you're going to move in or whatever, you stabilize that first idea, you are going for it. Now, there is much more after it, okay, there is much more for you in it, okay, which you would like to achieve. This isn't that. Four of Wands isn't that what you really want. But that is the first step, first stable ground, first stepping stone, okay, which you found before you go after that big idea which you have in front. There is nothing for you which is not doable. There's magician energy within you. You can do it. Surely you are very much aware of it. As soon as you receive this table ground on Wednesday, your idea is possible. You can make it. You can create it. It's just for today, as I said, to do something which is necessary to be done before you move on towards a greater idea, greater place, greater, I don't know, for the own, okay? Um, you have to tie up some loose ends. There is something which you must, 
which shows endurance, persistence. You see what I'm saying? You cannot just now jump into something else. Doesn't matter you are excited about it. First, you have to, what you have to, you have to do. This is something which you have to. Nine of Wands talks about must, must. This is must, finish, must be done. And then, okay, go and, I don't know, do your magic. But first thing first. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Hi, Gemini. And then Friday with Three of Pentacles, which is nice energy. I love Three of Pentacles because as you already put something on the ground, something began, something began down there. Maybe other people, because often talks about other people included new group of people you are doing something with, something which is supposed to make you money, which is supposed to bring you success. But look, I kind of feel because this is strictly, exclusively about you, your personal thing, your personal endeavor, your personal goal, you see what I'm saying? I kind of feel that you have started something but is visible here. Okay, you didn't want it to be visible to talk about that here on a Wednesday, but now you talk about that. You even have something to show up with. Perhaps you didn't want to talk about because you didn't have nothing to show up with. Now you do have. Now here on Friday you can say, oh, you see, I earned money. I've got this. I met that. You see what I'm saying? From here you can grow endlessly. Three of Pentacles is exceptionally... Um, exciting energy because promises a big success possibility okay possibility for big success you can make you can go with this energy as long as you like it's kind of building something you put strong foundations these are your foundations for something else for friendship for the business for your career for your hobby and from this point oh you're gonna do it forever it can grow, it can develop, as long as you like, as long as you enjoy doing it. You see what I'm saying? Very lovely. Um, a three of Pentacles energy, exciting energy. We are all excited when we see first results. Okay, there is ideas and there is confidence and there is nothing on your way to achieve that goal. But then you've got first achievement. Okay, it's not your end goal, but achievement, first achievement proves that you can really do it. This is proof. Now you can talk. And three of pentacles is public energy. People can see you and admire that what you do. Yeah, look at you, Gemini. You do it well. You do it beautiful. Congrat. You see what I'm saying? Lovely. Um, this Friday. Paired with two of cups. Being very satisfied with yourself. Look, two of cups can indicate another person, but being that this two of cups here on Friday is within you, I'm just feeling that it is just you. Being satisfied, being happy with yourself. How you acted, how you made decision, what you have done, okay? You worked that out, you've got great idea, you didn't rush to announce things. You see what I'm saying? You released yourself from obligations on Thursday and you've got something done, okay? Established here on Friday and that makes you very, very happy. I kind of feel it's just you. Though, as I said, Three of uh, Pentacles often talks about people, new friendship, new group of people. You might talk about your home as well, okay? Some look on this day, you might be doing something around your home, some decoration or so. Still, still, it is something which makes you very, very happy with yourself. This is you being satisfied how you felt about thing, about this idea, and how you realize that idea, that what makes you happy here. I kind of still uh, uh, stick to that sort of storyline here, that you were happy, how you begin to realize your initial idea from Monday. This is first results and makes you very happy, just as you wanted it to be, just as you planned, just to imagine, just as you imagine it. Yeah, begins to happen in that exact way. Makes you so happy, loving yourself here on Friday. Hi, Cancer. Now Friday, Cancer with the fool. Oh, yes, good news. <laughs> I love it now. Um, look,
look, the fool's energy is, again, about expectations, uh, readiness to make this huge change in your life. And you were, I kind of feel you are all the time you're expecting it. Maybe even before this week. But you are working on it. It's related to your work. You're working hard for that. And you've got reason to expect this betterment, this increase, this elevated position. You've got good reason for this. This is not you fooling yourself. You're working for it. So yeah, let me see what will appear this fool because it is um, uh, zero point and it's paired with a nine of wands. It seems to me that you still, still have to do something. You still have to pass this exam. This is prove yourself. Okay, defend something which you do have already. Um, tie up some loose ends. Complete this project. It's almost, almost at the end. You're kind of sick and tired of doing that job, okay, which you still do. You're supposed to be now promoted, supposed to be elevated, supposed to get bigger salary. But, and you know, it's a day with a fool's energy. Oh, it's almost there. It's happening. But still, you are not at that new position. You see what I'm saying? Not today. And that's why you feel kind of sick and tired and annoyed with that what you do, that what you have to do, that what is still outstanding, that what is all the job, all the project. You see what I'm saying? But you cannot abandon all project and just jump into new. You have to complete it, finish it, do it all, and then off to go. You've got promotion, you've got new job, new project, new something. You see what I'm saying? You will be elevated. Definitely is about money, elevation, some prosperity. You are expecting it. I kind of, all the time I feel that you're not expecting it because you were making it for yourself. I kind of feel that you employed. It's your boss or, or it's your, I don't know, some, some circumstances around you and you were working with it. It's not favorable, it's not easy, but you are working with it, adjusting for it. And by, by Friday, okay, um, as I said, you know for sure that you will be promoted. Um, perhaps you know how much, you know exactly when. But first, you have to uh, uh, tie up these loose ends, finish this month, okay, or finish this August and from September. Maybe something like that, because this, um, this is annoyance, this is uh, continue finish it, uh, complete it, endure it. You see what I'm saying? This is must. It might actually be another month or another couple of weeks to finish this project and then off to go. You will be promoted or so. But yeah, it, it's not easy energy. This nine of wands is a kind of heavy, something which you don't like doing anymore, but you have to. You'll celebrate. I love this week, really. I envy you, Leo. Um, anyway, Three of Cups is celebration. Emotions are now running high. With a Three of Cups, it's always a little bit overboard. You know, Cups are much higher than this head. So it's not that what is realistic. It's not what is clear. It's not what is known. It's not what facts say. You see what I'm saying? It's something which could be, which you imagine, which doesn't matter. It's what you feel. You see what I'm saying? And you feel great. You feel great. On this day, you might call uh, people around. These are your friends. Always Three of Cups talks about people around you. You and your people. Your best friends, your siblings. Um, the people you will celebrate. You will tell them. Look what I've got. Look what I have started. Look for this opportunity. I got this offer. And they will come and they will celebrate. They will call, uh, congratulate you. You see what I'm saying? Nobody will show any jealousy or envy. Even if they feel that, they will not show it to you. These are people who will show only happiness for you. And they, you were with them here on Friday. Seven of Swords. Again, you leaving behind conflict zone, difficulties, maybe changes group of people, but I don't think so. This is energy within you. You will definitely celebrate on this day, whatever that happens, because that what happens up until Thursday, surely worth celebrating. So uh, I think this is very logical conclusion here on Friday that you are actually celebrating that what you've got in front of yourself, that what offer which you received on Tuesday, that decision which you made on 
um, I don't know, Wednesday. Um, and this is your awareness that you are leaving behind something which was second best for you. Okay, maybe an environment which wasn't satisfying anymore. Maybe some conflict. Maybe look this on Friday. Because I cannot really place this energy together with everything which I saw so far up until Thursday. Could be that uh, on this day, um, some problem which you did have with your friends. Okay, maybe there was some conflict. Maybe there was a something unpleasant among you people. Okay, best friends, cousins, okay siblings, perhaps you did have some sort of conflict, you will get away uh, from that, okay? You will try to overgrow it. This is your way, this is what you're going to do, this is your new life, and it's going to be happy life, you are starting something new. So that old, that old conflict, that old com uh, problem among you people doesn't matter anymore. I kind of feel that this doesn't matter anymore. Conflict among your best friends doesn't matter anymore. Um, there is the reason to celebrate. There is the success. Conflict, trouble, bickeries doesn't matter anymore here on Friday. Might be something like that. Hi, Virgo. Five of Swords on Friday for you. Unpleasant energy out there with somebody might indicate some jealousy, some envies, other people's competition for the same one thing. These people are competing for that same one thing. And only one is getting it. We were calling it the winner. You know, you want something, but it's not exactly what you wanted, okay? It's not how you wanted it. Uh, often people involved here unpleasant conversation, unpleasant communication with people, discussions, um, discussions, oh, it's paid with three of swords, this is a pleasant day, not at all this Friday, something will appear which will disappoint you, this is maybe partial success, this is the winner's energy, but winning something which is not enough, it's not what you have expected, you thought it's going to be better, you thought it's going to be something else, or you thought it's going to be more or more pleasant. You found yourself, you wanted to be in that place with these people to do something. And you found that not completely, that you're not completely satisfied with that what you have. You are not. Definitely five of swords doesn't make you satisfied. It doesn't matter even if you were benefiting. You're not benefiting as much as you wanted to, as much as you expected that you will. Disappointment is there, definitely paired with a Three of Swords. I mean, look, a Three of Swords doesn't last long. That is only positive, which I can, which I can say about this day, about this Friday. Um, unpleasant day, unhappy day, disappointing, sad day. You will feel hurt. Look, might be, look, might be that somebody said something to you. Could be that everything is fine with that what you are doing, with that what is happening in your life, and that somebody was mean, okay? This energy could be mean, and uh, that you were actually hurt because of that. Somebody spoils, somebody spoils your fun, spoils your success. Somebody rains on your parade, and you are very, very of, much offended, hurt because of that could be that sort of Friday. Ha Libra, your Friday with King of Cups. We can talk perhaps Scorpio, maybe Pisces, maybe Cancer person here, maybe somebody who's just out there for you to see you, to feel you, to give you good advice, to work with you. You see what I'm saying? This energy is very diplomatic, very calm, understands emotions, understand the whole layout of the situation, you know, feels it. Okay, this is very intelligent energy, besides being emotionally stable and having that quality, emotional quality. It's also very intelligent, you know, can make conclusion derived from that what is felt. Is a reason why this energy cannot be specifically put in one profession or so. But yeah, you do have person out there. 
I kind of feel it's helpful. King of Wands energy within you. Yes, might be helpful. Though, look, um, you were with the energy of King of Wands. Perhaps you are excited about your future. Huge vision. You've got Eight of Wands, fire energy within you. And now on Friday, King of Wands, fire, ideas, creation, enthusiasm to create something, being ready to create something, and lots of fire, stubbornness, strong willpower, okay? With Eight of Wands, with King of Wands, with Two of Wands, strongest willpower to create something. Might be that this Cancer Scorpio or Pisces will try to cool you down. Don't fly too high. Don't burn yourself. Tread lightly. Maybe, maybe that you need to hear this person. Because perhaps it's going to be good advice. I don't think it's a malice there. I kind of feel that somebody tried to put you on the ground. To feel the situation. Not just to look into yourself or what you like. What you think it's possible for you. Big dreams, big money. No. Feel the situation. Feel it around. What is going on? Somebody will be telling you that. And I really think that you should listen to this person. Perhaps you're not going to like it. You might find this person as a party pooper. But might be right. Your fire went too big and you need to control it. Okay, that's why this water here. So maybe you should pay attention to what this person, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, says to you. Adjust yourself accordingly. Hi, Scorpio. Friday, it's strange. Oh, <clears throat> But that's nice. I really like it. Now, you will have to deal with something. Something ties you down. Okay? You cannot. But you know, you understand. No frustration might very well be, as I said, some government regulations or something, the requirements or so. You have to deal with it. You know. Clinch your teeth, uh, hold on to your power, and wait and do it. Be careful. Don't rush. Don't say things which you're not supposed to say. Keep yourself in check. Don't lose your cool. Okay, what you have to do, you have to do. What you have to endure, you have to endure. If you have to release yourself from those boundaries, from those requirements, you have to release yourself and you know what you have to do. You have to be patient. You have to be strong. And you will. You have to be strong. There is strength, energy. I love it. And with the Empress. The Empress. Lovely. Twice in your reading, Scorpio. Very lovely. I mean, this is what you know. This is where you are heading. That's what is important. And I love this love. This comfort. This future plans. This mother. We all love it. That's what is Empress. We love it. And that energy loves too, okay, and it is within you. So that what is important you do have in yourself. You know what is for your future. This is long-term plans, and you will stay put. What you need to do, you need to do if you need to stay in this place with that, that employer. If you have to obey these rules, you will have to because there is something which is much more important for you, okay? The Empress energy is important. That's your bright future. That's your beautiful life. That's your comfortable life. That is at stake. So what you need to do, control yourself. Um, keep yourself in check. Control the situation, okay? Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Keep it tight. Maybe this King of Wands likes to rush things up. There is Knight of Wands as well. You wanted perhaps to rush it up. Your foyer was burning. You know, you wanted to do, to create now, this week. But it's not like that. It's not what you're supposed to do. It says, be strong. Deal with the situation slowly, patiently. Be patient and strong. Yeah, that is that is message from this Friday. Hi, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords, on a Friday for you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, again, a Gemini mm, um, features here, Gemini person maybe, complements you, Gemini's energy, it is opposite sign, but it is your partner, okay, so usually Sage and Gems are going quite well together, 
kind of natural couple in a way. But look, Queen of Swords could be you. I think I'm going to pair it first. <laughs> Very intelligent energy. Page of Cups. Okay, could be your mother, could be um, somebody else. As I said, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, definitely somebody else, somebody who gives you good advice, somebody who's got good plans, somebody who does have a knowledge, very specific knowledge, whatever that person on Friday tells you, listen to it, you were a page of cups, you were like a child or you are a child, okay, if this is your mother, but whoever that is out there, listen to that advice, listen to what this person says, this energy, this person gives you way, this person tells you how to do something, okay, how to behave, how to act, how to study, how to something, finds you way, that's your way, do it, and do it this way, these are the rules, these are, um, I don't know, this is knowledge which you're supposed to have, in that sense, Queen of Swords will give you good advice, so listen to that, you have this childlike energy, page of cups, you are excited, oh, miracles in your life gonna happen, but this one will tell you what is really supposed to happen, what you're supposed to do for things to happen, so you rather listen to this person on Sat on, pardon me, Friday. Hi Capricorn. Nine of Cups. Jesus Capricorn, <laughs> could you be happier? <laughs> so, <laughs> something really exceptional. This is wish card. You wished for this, okay? You wanted it. There is Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, again Ten of Cups. How happier could you be? I mean, Capricorn, very lovely, I'm jealous, I envy you here. This, Nine of Cups, says you're happy with yourself. Now you're going to reject this second best offer and you are very happy with yourself. You know where you are heading. You are going after your wish. You are going for this, the best, okay? That's what you see as the best possible outcome, happiest possible outcome. You are still going for it. You are staying to it. And you're very happy with yourself for that because you can. You can go after your wish. Makes you very, very happy. The High Priestess says you will wait a little bit for it, okay? Um, it seems that you are working on it. And I think it's kind of things in the process, okay? I don't think that you have any doubts. The High Priestess is not a doubtful. It's just a waiting. Might be a bit secretive, though could also be that on this day um, that you are evaluating the whole situation. Yes, this is what I really want. This is what would make me happy. This is my 100%. This is my fairy tale life, which I am going after. So, might be that you are rethinking your wish. It's not doubts. It's just a, just inner work. You have to feel it. Now that it is there, out there, you are contemplating to find it within yourself, to find that happiness, okay, this emotional satisfaction, to find it within yourself, yes, that's money, yes, that's achievement, yes, you bought that car, you loved, you see what I'm saying, often nine of cups is something material, maybe you were after something material, that car, oh, I'm dying to have that car, I am dying to have that something, and now that you have it, you are um, kind of contemplating about that, kind of to find that emotional fulfillment, that happiness within yourself, which this one is supposed to bring you. Okay, maybe something like that. Uh, but the High Priestess needs to know, that's knowledge. You need to know, is this what I wished for, what I have right now, is it really making me happy? Hi Aquarius. Friday, with Page of Swords, news, information, clarity, um, uh, some knowledge, something you understood, okay, on this day, now I know, aha, uh -huh, is that so, Ten of Pentacles is pairing it, now Ten of Pentacles is completion, all right, you were expecting, that what you were expecting, energy is within you, you expect results, you expect some money, you expect 
material thing. Okay, that was all about, from the beginning, from the Seven of Pentacles, that was all about what can you achieve, what is your maximum, okay? And perhaps this Wednesday shows maximum, but Thursday says you can get less, but you don't have to work so much. Might be that you are thinking about that, about this Wednesday and about Thursday. Should you put big effort for the maximum results or just go and get whatever you can get? Or lesser work, lesser rewards, but it's fine. You see what I'm saying? It's perhaps um, that what you're supposed to decide about. And this news, this information, this clarity on this day, okay, will perhaps set you, set you on the right path. You might be going for this. Uh, um, big advice from the big boss, from your father, you might be going for that, for that maximum, what you can achieve, might be a decision to go and put some effort, to sweat for it, you see what I'm saying, and uh, to get uh, maximum results, could be that you do have information or clarity about it. Might be also that you have some information about your house, about family, okay, about your inheritance, this um, Friday, because Page of Swords often brings news, conversation talks within the family as well, may be present here on Friday. Hi Pisces, Five of Cups is disappointment. A disappointment about something from your past, I kind of still see you comparing some exceptional opportunity which you are having right now with something um, from your past, something which is completing now, which has happened, something perhaps you had lots of hopes with that, and somehow finished with you not really be happy about that finish, that completion. You see what I'm saying? You, you don't like how things ended up, whether relationship or employment or business or something. Okay, you did have lots of hopes in it, but somehow you are considering it failure. Okay, this um, I kind of see it here on Wednesday and there you were again on Friday comparing these two situations, definitely being very sorry about how things uh, finished, definitely you are seeing failures with that what was. Five of Cups is connected to your past, okay? You see that previous situation as failure, okay? Something new is behind this person, okay? Two Cups are uh, um, forming something, okay? Forming something beautiful. It is beginning to form. We see it here Monday, Tuesday, and it's definitely there. Something new is forming, something new is beginning, but at this point you are not seeing it. Um, on Friday, you're kind of very disappointed. Queen of Pentacles door within you. I like it. It's solidity. Okay, you are solid self. You know what you've got. You know your qualities. You know what you have. You do have some qualities. You do have some asset. You do have asset. That is from Tuesday. But you were again very much aware of it. Okay, on Friday, look, with Queen of Pentacles, could be that you were counting on somebody to help you here, okay? Could be something like that. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person, maybe you were expecting this person to stand by you, you rely on that person. But they kind of like to see you, solid self, remembering, knowing Knowing your, knowing you know yourself, you know your what you got, and even there is past failure that you are remembering here on Friday. You still have a lot now to work with, but not to make the same mistake. As I said, this world brings experience, and I kind of feel that you do have experience now. Now you know how not to make that same mistakes again. I really feel that is very positive comparing that uh, mistakes you made, why this uh, project, this job, this employment, this relationship wasn't completely successful. You were very much aware of these failures, small things which made that, I don't know, unsuccessful 
but you will not make that mistakes anymore because now you're solid, you're grounded, you know yourself, you've got experience, you've got your skills, you've got your money, you see what I'm saying? You've got something very solid which grounds you, so you will not be making the same mistakes. Okay.